All right, so uh, we are going to work on lesson 7.3 here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to solve quadratic equations by taking the square root. Um, so first of all, let's, let's look at some steps that we can follow. Okay, so I'm going to solve the first two problems and then let you guys go ahead and work on the rest on your own. Uh, but let's write down a list of steps. So steps to solving using square roots. Step one, what we need to do is we need to look at each individual equation and we need to get something squared get something squared equal a number whatever number that is okay so what we're trying to do is get something squared to equal a number then step two is to take the square root of both sides And step three is to break it up if necessary. Break it up if necessary. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, problem number one here. Uh, we need to get something squared by itself equal a regular number. So I notice that I have this something on the left hand side I got this x plus 2 all squared okay I need to get that by itself I notice that there is a plus 2 left over here so I need to get rid of that plus 2 by subtracting 2 and I got to subtract it from both sides that will cancel that plus 2 and I'm left with x plus 2 the quantity squared is equal to 11 minus 2 is 9 okay so now I have something squared by itself is equal to a regular number. Now what I need to do is I need to get rid of the squared and I do that by taking the square root. Okay, Because this square root cancels that squared. If I take the square root of the left hand side I also have to take the square root of the right hand side. Now when I cancel that squared I'm left with just x plus 2 on the left hand side because that squared is canceled now I have to think what is the square root of 9 so I go to my calculator and I'm just going to type in square root of 9 on the graphing calculator I highly recommend you grab a graphing calculator out of the box to do this uh, I need to find the square root and to get to the square root I hit second and the squared key is square root and I needed the square root of 9 and the square root of 9 is 3 so now I know the square root of 9 is 3 but remember the square root of 9 is not just 3 it's both positive 3 and negative 3 because negative 3 times negative 3 is also 9 Okay, so now I have this equation, x plus 2 is equal to both positive and negative 3. This is where step 3 comes in. I need to break this up because I have x plus 2 is equal to negative 3, but x plus 2 is also equal to positive 3. Now I solve each of these individually. Over here on the left, to get rid of this plus 2, I need to subtract 2 from both sides those twos cancel and I'm left with x is equal to negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. There's one answer. Now I solve the other equation x plus 2 equals 3 by subtracting 2 from both sides. These twos cancel and I'm left with x is equal to 3 minus 2 is 1. So there I have two solutions to equation number 1. Let's look at equation number two. Again, I'm going to use the same methods, right? Same steps. I need to get something squared by itself equals just a regular number. 
So I see on the left-hand side here, my something squared is this p squared. I have just this p squared. I got to get p squared by itself. What's stuck over there is the 81 and the 8. We need to get rid of the 8 first. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides because 8 is stuck to the p squared with addition. So I unstick it using subtraction. And I'm left with 81 p squared on the left is equal to 108 minus 8 is 100. Now, I still need to get something squared by itself. I see that there's an 81 stuck in front. That 81 is stuck with multiplication. How do I unstick multiplication? Well, I use division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 81, canceling that 81 on the left, and I have p squared is equal to 100 divided by 81. So I go to my calculator, put in 100 divided by 81, and I get 1.235. I'm rounding to three decimals, 1.235. But remember, I'm not finished yet because that's what p squared is. I need to know what just p is, so I take the square root of both sides because this square root cancels the squared. I'm left with p is equal to whatever the square root of 1.235 is. I go back to my calculator. I find the square root of 1.235, and I get 1.111. And it's both positive and negative, 1.111. Remember, you're always going to end up with this plus or minus somewhere in these. Now look, I have P all by itself. So there are my two answers. My two answers are positive 1.111 and negative 1.111. It looks a little bit different than number one. I think a little bit simpler. The reason I didn't have to break this one up I didn't have to do step three, break it up if necessary, is because when I got P by itself in number two, when I got P by itself here, P is by itself, and I have two answers, both positive and negative, 1.111. So it's already broken up. And that's it. That is solving these equations using square roots.